and we are underway. I think Great that's the worst cut break I've yeah. seen Harriet hit all week. Yeah, I feel like she's been breaking really well all week, but that wasn't really? her best. But Marion Jude does hit a very good break on the right for France. So France get first chance on both tables here. Drops for Annalise, so it will be Harriet that gets the chance now for England on the right-hand side. Marion has the chance, but just runs into a little bit of an awkward place. It looks like she's going to turn it back over. And of course, Marion and Harriet will be in action tomorrow in the, the Ladies' World Final. I think Annalise has had a little bit of a result on the, on the left-hand table, not leaving an obvious red. Harriet going a little bit wild there. And a decent chance now on reds because I think you can play the one she's closest to off the yellow later in the visit to develop the one in the middle. Yeah, you actually everything goes, doesn't it, when you look when you pick up that shot? Yeah. Um. Tough shot for Leanne Craig. Oh, for a second, I thought she'd made the treble. Yeah. Right. She is very good at doubles and trebles, Craggy. So. A little bit of a surprise she's not nailed that. atmosphere out there building for this final as well. What do you think of the atmosphere in the women's game compared to the men's? Um, I think the best atmosphere we've had for the whole championships has been during the women's games. Yeah. Um, without Everyone. without much of a doubt, to be honest with you. Everyone gets involved, don't they? Yeah. The atmosphere has been, especially with the, the shootout, and what a spectacle that was. Yeah, Morocco were a lot of fun, weren't they? They were. It's one of the biggest surprises, I think, from the tournament so far, is considering how well they played in the shootout, how disappointing they were in the main team championships and they mm. didn't make the top four they didn't make the semi-finals but they were, they were unbelievable I mean we've got France here they destroyed them 6-0 in the shootout yeah in that, that is unbelievable I mean the yeah. <laughs> but in style as well I mean yeah. it was with high quality finishes it really was amazing mm, Marion needs that yellow to drop and it has still tough even though that yellow has dropped if it hadn't have dropped she'd be on nothing yeah And I used to leave in this shot in the middle till last. I think I would have liked to have tried to get on this a little bit sooner. She may not be able to get onto that red. It looks a tricky angle, first glance. 
Yeah, she didn't like it, does she? Yeah, it was the wrong angle to be able to make yeah. that off the and get the red, get on the red. So that was tough. I think that's why I'd have liked to have played it earlier. Yeah. Well, still have chances to be on other balls. Mm, a bit of a wide from Marion. We haven't seen much of that this week from her, but that was no quite wide. I don't think she was ever comfortable with the positional shot, and you're probably better missing it now than developing the yeah. one with the. Yeah, because the, the yellow, yellow, yellow at the bottom is still a problem for Lianne Craig here. Right hand frame tantalisingly poised. A tough shot here for Annalise. Can she cut this back? She can. Where is it going to finish? It's going to finish oh. well. France gets the eight ball first. I think the camera deceived us both a little bit there. I didn't think that was cuttable no, back, no. Absolutely not. First blood to the French. Annalise Dehant takes down Harriet Haynes, the Masters champion, and France take the early lead. I think uh, even though at the first frame, I think that's a, a big frame for France to take out. I think Harriet would have been looking to, to set uh, the precedent for the England team and go all out. and. 1-0 France. Please welcome Sir Shirina frame. Casey Ranford Norrie and Colette Henriksen. The English team and tries to set the tone. Good safety shot from Craigie. Just about. These two sides met twice during the group stages, and it was one win apiece. France won the first one, eight frames to seven. In the second one, it was interesting because both sides were certain of being through to the semi-final stages and it always felt they were going to meet either in the semis or the final and France got off to a flyer at 4-1 and then they ended up losing 9-6 thought it was going to be a statement one way and ended up the other so you feel just gut feel here is that France need to make that stronger start take it to England and they have the chance here with Marion Jude the chance now to make it 2-0 Not an easy chance, though, because I think you, the angle's coming away from the red, and you've still got to get up the table for the black where it doesn't go in the top right. fully expect Colette to take these out on the left hand side. I think the only thing that stops her is the kind of pressure of the team final. Big shot coming up for Marion. Just overcut it. Big chance now for England.
Lovely shot for the ant. Are you going bottom or top first here? I think I'd go bottom. Okay. But I've got wouldn't have any issues going the other way around either. For yourself? Uh, which is top, more important, yeah. Top for me, yeah. Although ha that has gone slightly wrong, I think there was more chance of yeah, if a bit of a twitch under pressure, a big match in the yeah. team of, of the bottom ones, maybe snookering yourself behind the black. I think um, she just got the pot that in the side of the pocket because I think she could definitely come back down the right-hand side of the eight ball and it would have been a lot easier. But yeah. The natural lines here that's just shot. has to make the pot. Great shot. And that's something that Leanne does so well. Fantastic potter. studies herself because this is just a little awkward off the cushion a little awkward off the cushion and it catches her out oh, the edginess has started early here it's great to watch when you're <laughs> not out there isn't it <laughs> well you can relate to it you've been out there you've been in this environment and it's yeah. it's uh yeah edgy from the commentary box France yeah. do take that 2-0 lead. You said you fully expected Colette to take them out, and she does. Excellent finish. Yeah. Marion's got almost the same shot. That Leanne missed. She's nailing this though, isn't she? Yeah. Does Marion ever miss? No, she's very impressive. <laughs> and never in doubt, Marion Jude makes it 3 0 to France. France lead, three frames to nil. Great to see so much support in for both sides. What a start we've seen here. England under the early pressure. Please welcome to the arena Dorothée Chausse and Sophie Gibbs Nichols. And Ellen Collar and Barbara Taylor. Dorothée gets us back underway. Sophie Gibbs Nichols, her opponent. Decent chance on red too. England really trying to themselves up here as Sophie yeah. gets to the table. Yeah, I think a bit of a nervy one from Dorothy there. That's the first red. I think this is still a decent chance for Sophie on reds because I think the one next to the yellow does sneak in the middle. Very congested right hand side of the table. Yellows kind of unfold. Eight ball would be would need a little little nudge. But there is a way. I think the eight ball goes in the middle on the right hand side table. Probably does even yeah, without a nudge. So yeah. even then you can make a case without having to do too much, just pick it apart. Doesn't look to be in an ideal position right now, yeah. unless she feels comfortable to take the plant. If you take the pot up the table, it's not a good line. Backs herself to cue this one in from distance. Uh -oh. 
um, has France ever won this team title before? Do we know? Obviously, England have won it plenty of times. Yeah, they. I'm just double checking before I say it out loud. They won it in 2006. Two, 1999, so two times winners. They actually met England in the final in 2018 and came up 13-6 short. Obviously a, a shorter format this year with everyone playing each other twice in the group. Um, and I'm a big fan of that because I think it makes the matches a lot more exciting. There's more chance of shocks. Yeah, absolutely. And you have to be absolutely bang on it from the start. I think a first to 13 is a long, long time. It's and a it long, long match. allows the, the stronger squads to kind of enforce that strength across a bigger match, whereas in shorter matches, you've got more chance for turnarounds. Yeah, absolutely. Torote on the left has one major problem at the top end of the table that's going to take a, a lot of working out. Maybe better slowing down here. Yeah, See what I think she you decides have to, play to do. Safe here, don't you? Helen on the right, though, she can keep going here. This is a good chance to win this frame. <laughs> Just a little awkward angle now. Good, very good snooker from Dorothea. Yeah, I think the issue I think for Dorothea is even if you get ball in hand here, unless Sophie moves, you know, the red and yellow and try to get out of the snooker, it's still very difficult to to develop that with no other yellows up there. Yeah, you've got to start being clever with how you're playing your snookers and safeties to try and create openings. Yeah, absolutely. Helen may need to play a cannon here. She does play a cannon, but it's not a great one. Although I do think this yellow goes top of the table. Yeah, and I think the angle is going to bring the white over to the side where I'll leave you a shot on the black if you do, if you do nail it, as long as it goes. So Dorothea does get the cue ball in hand as well, and now has the problem of how to solve yeah. her problem. And I'd quite like to get a yellow towards the top end of the table or even the right centre pocket whilst playing another snooker. Yeah. And then have then you've got a breakout ball. Yeah, I think I'd be looking to move the, the one on the left hand side that's almost close to the rail. Maybe double it over and put the white on the bolt rail because on the bottom rail. Because obviously that's your your most awkward ball also if you do get a chance at the finish. Yeah. Just slightly it develop that and play safe. It's a big target, isn't it? And if you don't quite get the, the snooker you still you're still in got a great chance of being in good safety shape anyway, but the target is massive. Yeah, absolutely. I think she tried to actually double the yellow into the red and yellow together yeah. and missed the double, but got the cue ball right. Yeah, I think it was a d not one that we saw, but a good choice. Yeah, I like shot. it, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But now that she's got an extra yellow at the top, it helps her. Shouldn't get cue ball in hand here though, because Sophie can see the reds. Is there a loss of turn here with the plant for Sophie? Try and get the number of numbers evened up a bit. No, just tried to thin clip it. Yeah. I was wondering if that was a slight miscue. Yeah. Not a great shot from Babs, I don't think. I think she's left a chance at this. Very slow walk around the table for Babs as she was checking out whether there's a gap. I think there is. Very, very tough to get on the black now. She has covered the the black in the middle with the red, which was a clever element of the shot. Just didn't get the snooker part right. Oh, Dorothea's going to try and pop this and play the breakout shot, but yeah, difficult to inject the pace there. Yeah. Hard to get the right angle. I'd have been worried about going in off as well. I think. Oh. Oh. Helen hit the wrong ball. So Barbara gets cue ball in hand. Is this the opportunity England needed to get into this match? I can see Babs keeping it tight here on the right hand side. I think I'm not sure she'll go for the finish straight away. So I think both of these frames have still got some time left in them.
Barbara Taylor, of course, the current world champion, at least for another 16, 17 hours. Ladies World Final tomorrow lunchtime. That was risky, I think, from Sophie. I think if I was um, in that position, I'd been looking to, to not try and get out of the snooker and hitting the red that was near the yellow. Um, just let her keep the problem of the yellow tied up. Slowly but surely, Dorothea's just making it better and better for her in this frame. Yeah. Still got to be patient. Keep I'd have been tempted to flick off the bad one, though, with the red having gone safe there and tried to get it out. I was going to ask you, would you want to try and lay one more snooker and then maybe play the loss of turn at the top? Because it looks like a plant that might be set. But if it's set to the jaw and not going to go in, then yeah. flicking off it with the gamble is that you're potentially leaving the reds on. But there is one really awkward red. Yeah. You've given Sophie the chance to get this this out now. Great shot. What a shot that is. And is this a yellow-red plant to the top corner? Because if it is, you can play the three ball here. Yeah. If it is a plant, you have to go for it, don't you? Yeah. It looks like it's set to the jaw from our camera angle. She might be trying to come thin, thin off the other side and send the white into the yellow and red. Great. Great oh, what a shot that is Great from shot. Sophie Gibbs Nichols. A moment of real class. That's such a hard shot playing it that way around, but the, the quality to feather it thin and get that plant in, that's absolutely amazing. Didn't try and do too much there. Made sure of the pot. Didn't have a good angle. Just tried to get it back to middle of the table to give herself a shot at this eight ball, which she has done. She probably would have liked another foot of pace, but this all goes. Just brilliant from Sophie Gibbs Nichols. World-class finish. That was absolutely amazing. And England are on the board. Well, I know that's only four balls, but the, the pot down the rail to start things off and then the plant and then, of course, the eight ball. I mean, it's just real class. Yeah, quite a slight mistake on the scoreboard. They've give, given that frame to France, I think, initially. I think that may maybe that's a sign that of how much control Dorothy had in the, the frame. <laughs> Everyone thought that she was going to win the frame, but yeah. Gophie, uh, Sophie Kipps Nichols said absolutely not. That really was an amazing finish. Yeah, phenomenal from Sophie. And really stepping up. I think Sophie is, is the. Please welcome into the arena our next two players, Harriet Haynes and so Colette Henriksen. By example. France lead, three frames to one. come from behind this yellow and give it a slap, don't you? Yeah, I mean, y you know it. <laughs> thing is, though, you, you probably have to. Yeah. So you just got to try and figure out a way of getting going towards a pocket, giving yourself a chance. Nearly nailed it, and not, not left anything easy for Babs here. Oh, Colette gets us back underway, and straight into the left centre pocket. These two matched up in the world semi last night. Harriet got the win. Barbara chooses to be patient again, but has she left sight of this yellow? Oh yeah, 
I think she the black goes now as well. I think she can. I think she's on this. She is. That's a loose shot. Yeah. The two reds on the right hand side here play pretty big in terms of being on the the eight ball. let off for Barbara Taylor she still has control in that frame yeah again it still wouldn't surprise me to see Babs try and keep this tight here and play another snooker because not the easiest first shot if she chooses to that it chooses to go game one of Babs's great strengths in team events has always been the patience and being able to grind the frames out and that's what's required here on the left maybe a tactical exchange between Colette and Harriet. Grinding frames out, not normally something you'd associate with Harriet, though. No, she's got no choice right here and now. No. You know, she wants to be aggressive and take things on. But oh, she absolutely has the knowledge to do it, I think, just absolutely chooses not to a lot of the time. You have to feel now is the time, though, for Barbara. Cue ball in hand, four reds, wide open, and the eight ball. Player preference, obviously, but I'm, I would actually prefer to clear the, the two at the bottom first compared to the two at the top, but whichever way you go, you should be able to make this easy enough. Yeah, I think I'm with you on that. Now you've got to play a shot just to connect the two at the bottom together. Yeah, I think if you can get straight on the one over the bag, obviously you can play it in the middle, but I'd have been playing the one closest to the black first, I think. Yeah, absolutely fine here. No issues at all, but it is personal preference. But it's the way Barbara has seen it. She'd rather not have left herself on the cushion, but it looks like the angle's good. Dead straight is good. Harriet trying to make it happen and misses her target. on the trot for England Barbara Taylor brings her side back within one Tell it's hot in the arena fans in the faces for some of the girls in there and it's only going to get hotter as the tension and pressure builds in this match race to eight remember Long way to go. I think Colette is going, going game here. That's yellow that must sneak past the red. I think she'll be playing to cannon the two out. Back underway on the right hand side. Leanne Craig breaks off. Strange split. 
Not too bad, though. Looks a little bit strange, but there's an opening. It's not gone great for Colette, but it also could have gone worse. She still has an out. Yeah, I also I, I haven't seen Colette miss many doubles this week. Do you think she should take the one down the cushion that she's on now? She doesn't look like she's lining it up. Looks like she's thinking double straight away. Yeah. I think you have to take the air. Yeah, quite right. You ha you're, you're never going to get better on it than this. No. You can play for the double off this ball, so I think. Oh, just pulled away. Yeah. Well, the red at the top is a tough one for H. It doesn't double. Mm. Well, I don't think it doubles anyway. And it's tough to break out. Yeah. So even though Harriet's back at the table... Not a great opportunity. Ball the, the ball on the right hand side up towards the pocket and put the white behind the red on the bottom rail. Yeah, you definitely target that, couldn't you? The more balls she pops here without being able to solve that one at the top, though, the worse it's going to get. She's, gonna, she's left herself an angle to try and go into it now off the bottom one. Very aggressive shot selection. Well, didn't in the end. It's worked out well. Yeah. That's not what she played. Is Colette playing the double? No, just rolling up to it. It's a great touch. Yeah. I can't play shots like that, so I'd have been tempted to <laughs> first pot the one over the bag and yeah. make the double later on, but great touch from Colette. Doesn't want to pot the one over the bag. Yeah, that's no good. No. That is to France's advantage. I assume she was trying to play the lost turn there on the, on the one over the top right. Craggy with a chance on yellows, but tough on the other table. This time it is a loss of turn for Harriet. Not a terrible leave. Very tricky tactical exchange between these two now. was an attempt to break it out, I think. Yeah. And yeah, this is the breakout. But is there any way to make this double? You make the double, but it's wild with the cue ball, isn't it? Because of the angle. But if you don't take it on now, safety options are limited. And you feel you'd give Harriet a chance to then take control of a tactical exchange. Craggy going through the yellows nicely on the other table. Leanne trying to put right the wrongs of the first frame she played where she missed the eight ball. Played the treble. What damage has Colette done? Is there an angle on this red? I 
think she may have enough to top through off the side cushion. Waiting for the right hand side table here. Leanne, chance to wrap this frame up, tie the scores up. Gets her lines wrong. Puts herself in a world of trouble. I think if you were playing for it in the bottom left where I assume it goes, I'd been in favour of just topping through off the cushion rather than the dodge the screw back there. Wow. Wow. Well, went for the double. Gets the fluke off the yellow. Big moment in this match. Touch of fortune for England. A shot from Harriet, or do you think she just got into that a little bit more than she? Yeah, I think it's just a, a little jabby one. Yeah, I still expect her to nail it. But. And in it goes, holds her hands up to apologise for that moment of fortune, but she won't care because the frame is on the board, and we are all square here after six frames. Colette must be absolutely sick of the sight of Harriet this week, I think. Yeah. I don't <laughs> Been a tough matchup for Colette. Whole championship long. Just had a moment behind the camera as well. Perfect shape here for Annalise just to put the finishing touches to this and get France back in front. Just slightly more angle than, than you'd want, but still should be fine. She doesn't look happy with it. It looks like you could just drop this in and, yeah. and hold for the eight ball. And she's looking, coming across to the right-hand side of the table. Can she target the yellow if she does that? And hold if she hits the yellow, great. If she pulls up short, great. Oh, it's finished a bit between everything, really. Yeah. And Marion fouls off the break. And Casey will have an opportunity, although a tight layout. Yeah, not a nice, um, not a nice layout for Casey. Annalie's just steadying herself. Doesn't have to worry about the cue ball. Just play it plain ball and she'll be fine. And in it goes. France are back in the lead. And Elise Dehaunt takes the frame. Leanne had her chances, didn't take it. Look at the crowd behind the French girls out there. It's building. Great first shot from Casey. She's given herself a decent chance now. If you if you are the England captain or manager now, obviously Leanne looks to be struggling a little bit out there. Do you consider making a sub? Yeah, but possibly. Apart from the fact that Leanne's been such a stalwart yeah. of this team for so long. And normally very, very good in this sort of situation. Yeah. Teams get the chance to change their teams around after five and ten frames. Each player can play up to three frames. Okay. 
think what I really like about Leanne is that she's she's such a good team player. You know, even if she is struggling on the table, she's the first voice you hear in support in the crowd. And that is important as well. Absolutely. Mm. Team events, it can be absolutely crucial. It can be the difference. Can't really play the loss of turn here. No. For Casey. You'd have to pot you have to go so thin off the red. You can't pot it with the cue ball because the yellow's too far to the side of the pocket and you can't pot it with the red because the cue ball will be flying up in amongst the yellows. I might be tempted if I was Casey just to drop the red on top of the yellow and then float the cue ball behind the other red at the bottom. I think that miss comes from not entirely being confident in your shot choice there. I yeah. She kind of ran out of uh, ran out of time and had to play shot. And Sophie Gibbs Nichols in with a chance on the right hand side. Took out a brilliant four ball finish to get England's first frame on the board. Looking to build on that here and get England all square once again. How do you develop the red on the right hand side here? With difficulty. Hope it doubles. If she wants to develop it, I can see if you can drop this in the right centre, you could leave the angle to screw straight back right. into it or try and top through to leave the top cushion angle into it. Yeah. But Potentially neither. Potentially leave the angle to screw into the yellow and leave yourself on the yeah. red, but it's difficult. Absolutely. Yeah. Definitely double in the corner. I'm not sure if it will double in the middle. So Marion at the table and probably expect her to get these because I don't see a miss very often. One shot to play really. Yeah. Get from the two at the bottom to one of the balls at the top, ideally the one on the left cushion. Okay, so Sophie's trying to leave herself a bit more of an angle to go into it off this one in a corner, but I think she's come up a bit straight. doubt that she's going to play the right shot with it. No. I always thought this finish was going to come down to a big double for Sophie. Huge shot for Marion on the left. Just has to make the pot. Yellows are waiting. Wow. Just overdid it. <laughs> Just a, a little quick one in for Marion. And the double flies in for Sophie. Big eight ball to follow. Sophie, one of the more experienced on the England team now and absolutely standing up here when they need her. Okay, she left herself a little bit more angle than you'd want, I think, on this next ball. Tough black for Sophie. Just brilliant once again from Sophie Gibbs Nichols. Another brilliant finish. Another frame on the board for her. Another frame on the board for England. They are all square once again. Well, how good has Sophie Gibbs Nichols been in this match? That is two brilliant finishes.
disappointing miss for Casey. Sophie very much the player of the match so far. Oh, no doubt about it. Incredible quality. Uh, it's good news, bad news. Good pot. Knocked the eight ball into an awkward position. here feel she really needs to get this just to settle herself down a bit obviously Casey's first world um, so it's a big thing playing in the final when it's your first time at the tournament <laughs> I'm not sure she meant the kiss on the reds but it's worked out fine yeah it's good now slightly awkward here about taking the one over the bag is making sure you don't leave too wide an angle to be going away from your last red. Where's the cue ball? Where's the cue ball? Big error from Casey. Not, su not sure Casey really needed to come back that side of those reds. Just try and just be careful playing on the one into left centre. Yeah. Well, I potentially would have even considered taking the centre one first and just leave the one over the bag and then play on the one in the corner. Yeah. Marion Jude wraps things up in that frame. Not at her best in that one, but she still gets it on the board thanks to the Casey error. France back in front. This is clearly going to go to a deciding frame, so which team's going to win? Has that sort of feel. Well, if it goes to a deciding frame, I think we're pretty certain that it would be Barbara Taylor out there for England. Who would France put out for their anchor leg? at the table. Just playing this one off the red over the pocket. It just never looked likely to go well where she was sending the red to. Potting herself into a bit of trouble here. I don't see a way out now. Scott Price looking as cheerful as always in the background. <laughs> no nonsense, Scott Price. She just floats it down there. No real hope of 
making it or getting on the other ball. So turns the table over to Barbara Taylor. That red being over the bottom right-hand corner will give her a bit of thinking to do. Yeah, you d you d there is still a way out here, though, isn't there, without the without using that pocket. So if you want to go, there is a way of manoeuvring around it. Yeah, the, t the two yellows, if they both go independently into the right centre, then that's easy connection to the bottom end of the table and yeah. short position on the two by the eight ball. Good snooker, though, to start with. With this being the the tenth frame, there's a, the slight delay in getting the names in for the the next set of five. I think that's why we haven't started on the other table. Do, are we allowed to let this frame finish before they make their decision? Do you know? Uh, I think normally because it's Babs who's captain out there playing, yeah. and then they're going to bring a sub in. It's probably Babs's choice. Yeah. Um, so this m this frame will finish before I decision would gets made. I think so. Yes, unless the decision's already been made. But yeah. Um, I, I think Kingdom will bring us something. Yeah. Here. Um. I mean, what a time to be subbed in it would be, though, in a very tight game in the yeah. final few frames of a world final. Yeah. That's what you have squads for. England have a couple of the sub options. Sarah Waite and Jeanette Baptiste. France have Emily Fesquet. Um, has Emily had a little bit of a struggle during the tournament in the groups? Because normally I think she would be in this starting five for France. Yeah, I think so. I, yeah, I think that's the, the reason they've made that. She didn't play in the semi-finals either. Okay. Yeah, difficult to start the final if you haven't played in the semi, no matter who you are. Yeah. Barbara continues to be patient. It's a good shot. Mm. Half a chance there. That for Dorothy. The way she played that, if she got this line slightly different, you can pop the one over the pocket whilst popping the other one out. Probably wasn't thinking of doing that and, and actively trying to avoid doing it, but when you're this far behind, sometimes you are looking for those half chances. Yeah, maybe a slight inexperience with the rule set there as well. Um, in terms of it, it does, this rule set lends you to being a lot more aggressive when you're behind in frames. Yeah, the red over the pocket doesn't give her as much advantage as it would do in other rule sets and, and certainly as it has been for the WEPF for the last 30 years in, in world rules. Big pot that one for Barbara. Had to make it. She was leaving the plant on the reds. Hasn't landed on the next ball. Surprised if she doesn't just tuck up behind the yellow she's next to, just clip off it, hit the cushion. Let's run this one down and snook behind the black. <laughs> Leaves her an easier connector to the one on the on the bottom rail.
brilliant shot from Dorote. What can she do with the other red? Does it have a home? Does it go top left? It's tight with the yellow, isn't it? But I think it's you've got at least half a pocket. If not, maybe a double. It looks like she does like top left-hand corner pocket. This is a big moment in this match. I think like might be exaggerated. Only girls potentially. But I think anyone can like the shot, can they? Yeah. I like it if it goes in. Absolutely. Guaranteed to be on the black if it does go in. And it's close. Not to be. Casey can't watch it. A couple of tough frames for her. She's had opportunities. I think that adds to the pain. But uh, it's her captain out there right now. Trying to deliver for her team. And she's in great shape to do just that. Sort of not what you want to see, really. Just from a, uh, you know, if, if Barbara ever looks over at a corner, she wants to see her team really believing in her. And if you feel like that inside, don't show it on the outside. Oh, wow. What a miss. What a miss from Barbara. Difficult shot for Dorothy. I think you just I think just pot the ball, don't try and do anything with the white, take any shot on the black. I mean you'd be thrilled to be at the table with this chance. But the way she left them for Barbara, the position Barbara was in, it looked over. Yeah. The fact that she's got this and as tough as this is, she will have a shot at the eight ball if this goes in. It won't go in. What's the leave? It's very good. It's very, very good. What a moment of fortune for France. <laughs> what a moment between the two players. trouble for Barbara got to find a way of keeping this one tight might even be able to take the pot on and get the cue ball back across the left hand side of the table where at least she's not leaving the pot but the red the cue balls come too far the red is on most important part of that shot was not allowing the cue ball to reach the red off the cushion okay it was still going to leave full ball look at the re red but just had to make it not potable Another chance here for Dorothy. Great pot. Where's the cue ball going to end up? Safe, and she's on the black in the middle. Hits the gap. France cheer. 
Try smile from Dorote. She's on the eight ball, but now has to cue it in. Big shot in this match. Huge shot in this match. And Dorote Chausse beats Barbara Taylor to go 6-4 in front in this match. Huge moment of fortune for France, one they'll gladly take. But Amy, with a clear mind, as much as that was a huge piece of fortune for France, Barbara Taylor and England know that she should have won the frame before the flute came. Yeah, absolutely. I think we talked a little bit, uh, I said earlier that one of Babs' great strengths in team events is her patience and the, the willingness to grind it out. But I think no matter who you are, it just gets you when you do have to play safe or you're choosing to play safe constantly, for me anyway, it gets me out of rhythm. Um, there were chances, I think, for Babs earlier in the frame to go for it where if she's playing single, she absolutely nails it. But obviously, the team game, a team final, captain brings with it a lot of different pressures. Yeah, no doubt. Well, as we go into the third session if you like because the split match is split into three where teams can mess around bring in subs five frames left in this match we're going to see Harriet Haynes and Marion Chu for the third time England from here have to win four frames to one to win this title France just need the two frames and Harriet is going to get a great opportunity here in frame 11 and a preview of tomorrow's world singles final absolutely this will be the World Singles Final tomorrow lunchtime. I can just see out the corner of my eye Barbara Taylor chatting to Dorothy and Colette. I'm not sure if it's heated, but it's certainly a debate. I don't know if this is to do with the team order. I'm not sure what's happened. This is to do with the team order, I've been told by the tournament director. They are just checking, make sure the right things are happening. And France have subbed in Emily Fesquet. Bab's now questioning Jamo about it, but I'm not sure he'll he knows anything yeah, about him. I'm not sure <laughs> whether Stephen, our presenter and commentator, is really the right person to be asking for the team sheets, but there you go. That's what, what we're up to here. Doesn't have a clue, does he? Look at him. What's Harriet doing with this yellow on the left-hand side? Is she going into it now? Or is she too straight? Looks like she's too straight. I think she's running out of chances. Can she get behind? Can she get an angle on the one on the bottom to maybe try and get into the red by the yellow rather than the yellow? Yeah. This, is, this requires a lot of side. This is too much angle, isn't it? It, it looks like it. She'd have to get rakes aside on this. Not enough side and misses the pot all the same. Harriet's had her chance in this frame. I don't think that was on. I think that was half-hearted to make sure you get somewhere near the bag without leaving an, a really easy loss of turn. I'm not sure the shot was on to break that out. Maybe a little bit nervy from Marion for the first time ever. Possibly. Surprising miss. And it's certainly given Harriet another opportunity. Still has the same problem ball, but easier to solve. That's a great effort. And it is solved to a point. Yeah. It's not easy, is it? Plays so quickly. Straight down. Uh, 
scoring back, leaving a shot. Brilliant. Two brilliant shots from Harriet. Can she screw off the cushion in between the two reds to make the black easier? Yeah. Reverse side through the gap. Eight ball to Q in. England back within one. Harriet Haynes takes the frame off Marion Jude, punishes the miss pot. Four frames left. Who is Emily coming for? Do we know on the French side? I don't know. I haven't seen the, the team Maybe sheet. Helen. We'll find out as we go along here. So Leanne Cragg at the table for England, who's had a couple of really good opportunities to win frames in this match and let them go. Looking to put right those wrongs here. A safety shot from Craggy. Not leaving much on at all for Emily. Forcing Emily to even move. Leanne's bad red out, or the black. That's Sarah waiting. Subbed in for Casey Ransford Norrie. Uh, Emily going in off. Cue ball in hand then for Leanne. And a very good chance. Just the one ball to break out. Everything else is there. Just a lovely little cannon now. Ah, not ideal. Caught the wrong side of the yellow. Could have done with a bit fuller contact. What a time to enter the world final for your team. Yeah. And they're both the subs are at the table right now. Sarah Waite on the left, Emily Fesgay on the right. Huge Sarah pressure on both of them. Sarah a bit behind in the frame, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Sarah a bit behind in the frame on reds also, I think. Some difficult balls to solve. Emily just trying to keep it tight. Tough out from here for Sarah. Looks like she's eyeing up the loss of turn. Let's get the cue ball right on this one as well. Don't leave the one over the bottom right on. Oh, misses the loss of turn. What damage is done. She's left a chance here for Dorothy. Needs a couple of good shots, but definitely a chance to go. I think the pressure's getting out, getting to everyone out there. Bit of a wide from Leanne. Yeah. 
Which had a bit of a result, uh, blocking the pocket for the yellow to the bottom right. The one on the left for Emily is also difficult. I think, I think Emily will just be keep looking to keep it tight here. I think having a short memory is quite good here for Leanne. If she yeah. remembers what she's done in the previous two frames where she's kind of let good chances go, it yeah. can really make the chance she's got here even harder. If she remembers, actually, she's a phenomenal ball player. Yeah. And just focus on what she has to do. It's so much easier. Not that anything's easy at this stage of a world final. No. So we're looking for the loss of turn, potentially white up the table behind the black. Yeah, I think that's a decent shot. I'm a little bit surprised that Dorothy didn't choose to go there. I just feel like it's going to be harder for her from here. So yellow off the red into the plant. <laughs> yeah, that's one for a three times world champ, well, three times <laughs> WEPF world champion. Can she see the three ball plant directly? I think that's what she's looking at. Craggy just choosing to get a bad red out. Another loss of turn for Cicero. And pushing the black towards the red. Big believer that sometimes you get a good chance in frames and then it gets harder and harder and harder. And that's yeah. exactly what's happening here for Dorothea. She had a decent chance. It wasn't going to be easy, but it certainly got harder since she decided not to go. Very tense on the right hand side. I think both players oh, wow. are just trying to make it difficult. What a shot Dorothea's pulled out there. I completely missed it. What happened? Good question. <laughs> Very bad at looking at both tables at the yeah. same time. I don't know how you do it. Well, I was half watching the one on the right anyway. I yeah. just saw the ball go in and she's managed to get the other yellow over the bottom left at the same time. Just if this one squeezes in, she's actually given herself a chance to. To clear up. It's lost a turn, isn't it? Yeah. She, well, yeah. I don't. Mm, I think yeah. that's the shot for me. Yeah. That's I was just shot. worried that if she does that, then loss of turn could come back, but there's no easy loss of turn back. Absolutely not. No. And then she's in trouble. And if you get a chance at the, the yellow on the left hand side, you can break the black out and still have a ball over the pocket. To yeah. Go You're absolutely right. This is, that's worked out. That's exactly what she wanted, and it's come out well. Sarah can see the potting angle here. She might have a chance to go and try and break into the bad cluster off the one in the middle or, or the corner. Well, she can't. She's tried to play safe. She's left awkward queuing on the one on the left, which might make Dorothy take, take the other one first here. Yeah, it also helps if she can get the cue ball across the left-hand side of the table or nearer the left-hand side of the table to play that breakout. Yeah. Can you even just, is there room to just drop it in and play the black to the opposite bag? Or does it have to be broken out? Yeah, I think, you, I think you're absolutely right. If she finishes right behind it, almost rest into the red a little bit. She's well, perfect. she's got the cue ball where she wants to. She can have the choice. There's actually, from the camera angle we have here, there's a little bit more room with these sort of shots than you expect. Yeah. Only she'll know that rolling this in and resting on the red might leave her straight in on the eight ball if she can't do that she will play into it I think you're in a good enough position now where you can control the cannon yeah you must miss the red and hit the black ball ball yeah, like shot. that brilliant rough on Sarah. I think Sarah's done a massive amount wrong in this frame, just never really had a clear chance or clear easy safety. 
It's just been very clever from Dorothy. Yeah, the absolutely. shot that to turn that whole tack, I felt like she was getting further and further behind and then one shot turned it all around. I think she's going to um, go a bit mental here. She spots yep. this black. And Dorothy Chaussey puts her side one frame away from the title. Very, very and calm celebration. I was expecting something a little bit, yeah. a little bit bigger from her then. A little bit muted there. Yeah, almost disappointed. Like yeah. to see people going mad in team events. Sophie, who's been incredible for England in this match. She needs to be once again. Backs against the wall here for England. They have to win the remaining three frames. I'm not sure Emily was trying to disturb the two together there, but it's worked out really well for her. Difficult for Craggy now. I think you just have to flick the one on the side rail out and put the white on the bottom cushion. Big chance for Emily now to win the match for France. Huge chance. I was just about to say, unless there's some very surprising substitutions happening, it will be Barbara Taylor versus Claire Hendrickson for the deciding frame. We may not get that far. Emily with the chance to come in as a sub and in your only frame win the world title for your country. Pretty cool. Good shot from Anais there as well on the left. Chance on yellows. So don't need to do too much with this. Just stun back past the black and you're absolutely fine. Yeah, perfect. Very impressed with how Emily's handled herself in this frame, considering she's come in as a sub at such an important time. Yeah, and didn't play in the semi as well. This is such a huge moment to come out and holding herself together. Two more shots. I mean, if she if she misses now, I've completely jinxed her. <laughs> The French crowd are ready to go absolutely mental, aren't they? Ready to explode. Emily goes for a wonder, goes for a lap, just to compose herself. Yeah, absolutely doing the right thing here. And France are the champions. They take down the defending champions to lift the crown for a third time. And look what it means to them. Amazing scenes here in Agadir. Hugely respectful from the defending champions. What a performance that was, Amy, from France. Yeah, very, very good. I think the, the big players really stood up um, and every, everyone contributed. They played really well. And you can hear they've got behind each other phenomenally. Um, I just think they've, they've, played the, they've played a better pool, to be honest, in my opinion. Yeah, they built throughout the championship, started slowly. And once they started to gel, they really started to turn it on. It always looked like it was going to be England versus France for this title. And it is the French that have taken down the favourites in England and the defending champions and France will get the crown for a third time. Let's send it now to Stephen for the presentation.
Champs team final. All right, welcome back inside the arena. It is time for the presentations. What an absolutely awesome final that was. Team Paul at its very best. It was nerve shredding, it was gritty, but it was very, very high quality as well. Let's put your hands together for the two nations here. Awesome they were, England and France. Celebrations at the end for France, England, your runners up. A fantastic performance once again through to another team final. Let's hear it for your finalists, England. <laughs> Bob, I know this wasn't the interview you wanted to be giving, but you can still be very proud of your team, right? Exceptionally proud, yeah. I think, especially considering we've got some players that haven't played on this stage before, I thought they held themselves very well, but all credit to France, I thought they played excellent tonight. Worthy champions, yeah. Lovely words, and just how, how impressed were you with France? Because like yourselves, a lot of new players, a lot of young players, and both of you teams must have learned so much from them final few frames. That was Shredsville, if ever I've seen it. I don't think it matters how many times you've been here, but the adrenaline when you get in that position and, the, and at that stage in the match, anything can happen, and it showed. But I think coming in, being subbed in for the, for the last session and taking the winning frame is a bit special. So, well done. Well done. Lovely words, Bob. We'll see you back next year. Barbara Taylor and England, everyone. And how about your winners? What a special moment out here in the arena as Le Masseyes rang out with all their supporters. Let's hear it for your winners. France! <laughs> Anais, how good does this feel right now? Honestly, I have no words. I think France didn't want it since, I don't even know, a long time ago. So we are very proud and it was a very good week for us, and we all friends, we all play and fight for each other, and I think it's what was our strength. How special were those celebrations there with the national anthem ringing out behind you? It must have meant an awful lot. Yeah, we are very proud of the anthems. We are singing it a lot. So. <laughs> And it's been an incredible journey to get to this final. You've had to win a lot of matches. You've had to bond together as a team. Lots of young players, some experience in there as well. How special is this group? Like I said, this group is a very good group. We all fight for each other. We all have each other back. I'm going to let you guys have your magic moment. We're going to bring in the president of the WPF, Joe Fanto, to make the presentations. Your 2023 World Team Champions, give it up for France!